The Visitation Academy has been in place for many decades. It was begun long ago by the Sisters of Charity, and they passed the baton to the Visitation Sisters, and as a result, our school and campus has grown and thrived for over 165 years. As soon as I arrived here, I knew that it had to be something special. I can tell you without reservation, uh, walking onto the campus, it is beautiful, but it's the presence of the Holy Spirit. And it's that sense of peace that you feel, and it's consistent. The campus here is almost magical. When you walk around the campus, you, you feel the presence of the sisters who served here. And one of the most touching things to me is the fact that when they came, they worked here, they lived here, they educated the girls, and they stayed their entire lives. They, when they died here, they were even buried here. And so our little cemetery that contains more than 126 sisters represents that long-term commitment to service to others and maintaining our traditions. What initially drew me to visitation was just the all-girls aspect of the school. I thought that was so unique to have an all-female campus of, at an elementary school. Oh, that's awesome! That's so cool! Young ladies in this day and age are often somewhat trapped in a world where they're caught up in makeup and activities that may not always enrich their lives. I love the fact that at the Visitation Academy, the journey of being a girl is a little slower, and they're allowed to go at their own pace. The focus is completely different in terms of education when you have only females around you. That I see my girls, they are the leaders of the classroom, they are the leaders of the school, they're able to bond with each other. They're the ones that always have their hands raised. They're the ones that feel like it's their right to speak publicly. They're the ones that are able to express their faith without giving it another thought. I feel like starting that early and making it consistent all the way through eighth grade, they're just going to be so prepared and confident for their future. Um, we have a quote by St. Francis of Sales, be who you are and be that well. Um, it truly is lived here because the students have the ability to shake off any type of distractions, whether it is boys or even large classroom settings, and they're able to see what are they good at, what are their gifts, and then how can they help others with their gifts and supporting them. And I really believe character building. There's so many schools that they hit the academic mark um, and we're on the same playing field, but when it comes to character building, we feel like we're developing that child into a young lady by the time that they leave. And the girls are allowed to acquire social graces in an age-appropriate way because good manners never go out of style. The sisterhood here includes girls from many uh, socioeconomic backgrounds. We have girls from various cultures. We have girls from various religions. And I think that diversity is definitely a strength for us. We do not just speak to one type of girl. Um, we speak to the American girl. I feel like we've done such a great job of finding a balance between moving forward to the technological future but still holding on to that past. We're so very proud of the place that we hold in history because shortly after our campus was established, the Civil War broke out. Let me bring up to this 1860s matter of fact. That was a time in which uh, the area, the region, whether it was the southern region or the northern region, saw this as a primary education institution for women. They knew that it was for character building, but they wanted the academics as well. And many uh, generals in the army, General Nathaniel Banks for instance, uh, sent his daughter here knowing there was war going on within a couple miles. However, they were safe within the convent walls. They were safe here to get a good education, and um, they, they went on to show that in, in their lives as they left the school. 
after the battles of South Mountain and Antietam, the Visitation Sisters played a role by continuing education here on our campus, the only school in Frederick to do so. The, Char the Sisters of Charity returned to our campus so that they could nurse the wounded. It was an opportunity for us to join other places within Frederick that were hospitals at the time of the Civil War, particularly the Battle of Antietam. In September, September 21st, we had to raise our flag at that time. We were called to become a hospital. During that time, uh, the young girls were here. We had many soldiers, as much as 1,500, that came through our gates to be um, to either die here, uh, to be uh, mended, uh, and sent back into battle. Some of them went on to different hospitals in Baltimore or Pennsylvania because they were larger facilities. But we were at the front of the battle. If you, uh, if you have a picture in your mind of daily soldiers just coming in and uh, some making it and some not making it, but we were here for them as best as we could for about three months. story of the little girl singing Maryland my Maryland and waving the flag and causing disruption among the soldiers here um, is the most told story from the One Vast Hospital period. As a way of celebrating that historic moment, uh, we joined with other partners in the Frederick community and celebrated One Vast Hospital. The significance of that, of course, is that many places here in Frederick were commandeered to be hospitals to attend to the wounded, and the Visitation Academy rose to the occasion by um, helping out in that situation. But I think one of our distinguishing features is our rigorous curriculum. It's always been part of our philosophy to have innovative styles in education. There's a great deal of writing here. Writing is critical and very key. Whether it's science, whether it's social studies, whether it's religion, you're going to be writing. You're going to be writing in cursive. Fine motor skills are important, but the content. We always put an emphasis, too, on public speaking. We really want the girls to have the presence of mind and the confidence to express themselves in front of others. It's important for us that they can have these presentation skills at their fingertips, not just in the subject of public speaking, but of course in all of their subjects. The girls are learning public speaking in fourth grade and up. They're learning to perform to others. They have tap and chorus and Spanish performances throughout the year. They need to be comfortable in front of large groups of people. making correct choices, using good judgment, those are values that are celebrated. Um, there are plenty of strong role models on this campus trying to help the ladies make the best choices and prepare them in the best way so that they feel equipped in the future to make the right choices on their own. I feel like we are looking all the way back to the saints, seeing choices that they've made, ways to bring us closer to God, and it's just something that's encouraged through St. Francis de Sales Awards and different kind of virtues of our campus that allow us to celebrate those good choices. Our pride really swells when we know that we're sending them off to high school as best prepared as they can possibly be. Um, not only have they had all sorts of STEM initiatives in place that make them competitive in the high school world, but their standardized test scores are quite high. This past year, our girls um, scored in the 90th percentile in many of their subjects, and that's an amazing feature uh, among high school students today. Working at Visitation Academy has been the great joy of my life. When I first came to the campus, saw the beauty. I practically skipped into the building. I taught in public school for 12 years. I love my job, love my students. But here at the Visitation Academy, I feel like I'm part of something 
beyond my control. It's a place like no other. I talked to people that had daughters here, and they would just rave about it. Um, and it was really word of mouth that kind of made us say, we better investigate this, which is why at two weeks old, we brought Taylor over. She was in my arms and we took the first tour. Uh, wow, I'm so glad we did. I look at the girls here and to me, they are well beyond their years, academically, socially, spiritually especially. I think that when you meet a visitation girl, whether it's here at the school or outside of school, they exude confidence. I think that um, the girls are really the best ambassadors for the school, and I know that every time Mia's seen out in her uniform, people do ask, where do you go to school? And they're, they're, she answers very proudly, Visitation Academy. For me, it's absolutely imperative that my kids feel like they're part of something bigger than themselves, and certainly Visitation is able to, uh, to pass that on as it has been doing for, you know, 150 years or however long it's been. What I loved about the visitation introduction was that these girls were in an environment that was safe, that allowed them to um, not be intimidated by having boys around and to feel that they can empower themselves to become educated and, and step into the future. And if anyone asked me what is the best part about visitation, I would have to say it's the future because we have really begun to strengthen our math and science program and we have a STEM committee now. And that committee is filled with committed parents who are on the brink of launching us toward a whole new STEM initiative that would include everything from curriculum to resources to grant writing, everything possible to help our, our girls be more enriched. STEM. That's Mia's favorite part of the day. Uh, I have been very impressed this year in particular how all the STEM activities have been woven through, uh, through the curriculum. The sciences, uh, uh, that whole side of learning is just, it's the future. It's, I mean, if you pick up the Wall Street Journal today, um, the jobs out there, everything revolves around what STEM is going to produce. And I think it's gonna be very important. Very important. We're really excited about this. It sparks so much excitement and so much interest and the momentum is moving so nicely that we've identified potential partners, um, we've identified an architect, um, and I think that it's just the first of many, many um, steps that we're going to take to allow our girls to have the best education that they can here at Visitation with science, technology, mathematics, and engineering. We're just so glad you know, to have this opportunity for our girls. You know, we can just see them flourishing because of it. For my older daughter who is in eighth grade, it has proved to be the perfect learning environment for her. Um, with math and science, she really excels at those. And she's not intimidated or she doesn't hold back. Anybody, anybody who ever sees this, if you have a thought about sending your, your daughter somewhere, um, you can't go wrong. This is just such a great spot. There's a lot of buzz and I really do believe that in the next, I would say two to three years, visitation is going to have a waiting list, <laughs> which is what I would love to see. <laughs> but don't kick me out. <laughs> so as we look back, we can say yes, we will always be in debt to the sisters for being groundbreaking in terms of all girls education. But now it's time for us to move forward and although the sisters' footsteps will always be here on this campus. It's our turn now to empower the young women to think bigger, to reach higher, and to be the women they were meant to be.